Okay. I'm... I'm gonna say back, even though that has the wrong meaning. Um, I haven't really been recording. I did that little Hollow Knight couple streams. I want to go back and do, like, recorded videos on that. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think that that's a great game for me to be playing and recording. So I'm figuring out what I want to do. I might do Wrath of the Vitesis, uh, the new Owlcat game. I can see myself doing that. I want to mess around a little bit first, probably do the tutorial once by myself before I start recording it. Um, so I might do that. That could be a fun series that wouldn't be too intensive on me. Uh, but for this video, I have for quite a while, like a couple of for a while now, I've had this drawing tablet, and I haven't really talked about art much on the channel, I don't think, um, but uh, in my old setup, in my old room, you could see artwork that I had made in the background. I had set that up all along my back wall, um, but... I haven't really been doing art since I left high school, so I've been wanting to get back to it, and I thought that a good way to do that would be doing digital art, but I've had tablet for a while, haven't found a program I like with it, haven't gotten used to doing digital art, and it's just been disappointing and like disheartening how slow I've been adapting to it, so I haven't been doing it very much, I want to do more of it, so... I got a program that I think will help me do it better, but with the new program I gotta figure it out. I've been using an old, like, I had just like years ago when I first tried doing digital art stuff in like 2015 with a mouse, I had a version of Photoshop that the, like my, I stopped renewing it, but it still let me use it for a bit. So I had been messing around with that, but it's not great for me. I've gotten decent at understanding the tablet, but I didn't like the program, so I'm trying a new one. Uh, it is the Clip Studio Paint, and the reason I want to try this is that I'm very bad at poses and like proportions and stuff, and they have an integrated 3D modeling thing. Uh, so I could basically design characters in that and then draw over them. And I think that that would be a much easier way for me to get used to doing things again. So, this video is just going to be me figuring that out because I opened it up and couldn't figure out how to do anything. Now let me switch to this, this screen. I have a little video tutorial pulled up over here that I'm gonna uh, listen to while I try and figure this out because I've tried other uh, similar things. I have Blender. I tried that for a little bit. I got I like the 3D modeling in Blender, but I don't like the 2D art stuff. I don't like its its drawing capabilities. Um, so I wanted to try this one. I've done MMD stuff. I've done uh, some VWare CAD software kind of thing for 3D modeling. Not great. Like, I'm not super experienced with any of them, but I wanted to try it with this. So, I couldn't figure out how to do anything. At one point, there was a library over here that popped up, but I closed that and can't figure out how to get it back. Um, so, I don't know how to even insert an asset to start with. Um, 
that's that's my first that's the first thing I gotta figure out. Also, this whole setup is pretty dank, but I'm not gonna. If I tried to put in effort to make it better, I would probably just end up not making a video. Also, I don't know if, if I'm gonna edit this. I probably should, but also, I really don't like editing. I haven't, I haven't set up my editing software on this computer yet, even though I've had this computer for a while. Uh, but this is gonna be me figuring it out. That's a little loud. Let me turn that so down. Clip Studio Modeler isn't something that may automatically be downloaded with mm -hmm. Clip Studio Paint. Yes, uh, I have a modeler it is though. A free add-on. Uh, all you gotta do is sort of have a download. Show up where you have these programs. You got Paint, and then you'll see Modeler. And if you click on Modeler, uh, this default scene uh, should pop up. Now I've enlarged my screen so that everything is easy to read, and we can take a look at the navigation. The there, there is documentation, there are tutorials, but I've, I've found them to be a little bit... Um, I also looked at in, in the areas. tutorials that so links in this help, and they were not good. Because Modeler is actually pretty simple. So I'm just going mm. to take you through it step by step. Okay, now, okay. obviously, what we're looking at here is something called New Object, and there's nothing on the screen except for this grid and what we call a widget. To the left of the screen, we've got our subtools. On the right hand side, at the top, we've got three key windows. We have a navigator, camera setting, and view settings. And we're going to be uh, looking at these uh, okay. in just a moment. We'll start with the navigator. You'll see that there's this icon here. And this is actually our camera. If we click and drag it, okay, around there, you'll actually see that Good, the I like uh, that. viewport changes. Because what we're doing is this we're is moving very the camera weird around. To you. Now, the distance if we slide that, we can go further in, we can go further out, we can zoom in and zoom out. Okay. And this is the angle of the Ooh, view. So we can get I like that. Angles or very that's going to be, that's going to be useful. Graphic if we wanted to, uh, I like about uh, a 30 degree sort of angle feature. thing. But by default, it's uh, set to 45. I um, like I'm 30. I'm not entirely sure what this corresponds to um, in terms of camera. Or orthogonic. Now, the camera settings themselves, okay. you can further tweak by, you know, changing the X. The y and the Z How do I put a model in? One of the default to the starting models. Uh, so that when you do this, you're actually moving the position of the camera, but it is what is known as a targeted camera. Finally, you can you can do this to move are, the camera you know, around to figure that enabled, out. What draw effects and what shader we're using, and we'll take a look at this in a little bit when we import our first object. So I'm just going to shut this down and make a new object so everything is set to default. The next window that we want to look at is called object configuration. This is where we'll be doing a lot of our work. Okay, so it is object split up configuration. into uh, okay. several uh, small Sketch, panels. node, Sketch material, so layout, these, uh, angle, mobility. What we'll be really looking at because Add some file. I think that's what I want. Node. Everything else is grayed okay. out because we haven't got Makes any sense. object information. So let's take a look at the good. root node. Okay. And you'll see that you've got these three buttons down here. Add new, add from file, add from material. Also, here's we're another going to be thing looking at the, the add from right, file. Okay. Because okay. what we're hoping to do is download an FBX or an OBJ from somewhere and import it into Clip Studio Pro. Now, how do we do this? Well... First off, we need to go to something like Turbo Screen. I just want to use one of the existing here, ones. Four, I think it's called, and it's a free just want to use one of the defaults. The show us, uh, what Is this showing up? Okay, we, good. Yeah. It's not Studio showing all my file paint. stuff. Two formats are usable. One is FBX, and the other I is don't. OBJ. And this one happens to have both. So if we go to Download, uh, and you, you sort of have a Turbo Squid account, um, you'll get a download page, and these are all the models that I've downloaded. Yeah, I don't want to download a mod, so I want to use the default ones. Four. If we hit this little plus here, we will actually see all of the model versions available to us. And so we can download an OBJ, I don't or an FBX, want to do this, uh, which is what we want. Okay. So it's going to save the file. Whatever this program is, it'll do this little create new project. Uh, uh, out. That, uh, and let's go over duration. We've got node. We go add from file. And we can uh, navigate to where we uh, Yeah, but 
where are the starting ones? Open, and it comes in. So now we're going to have to navigate back by falling back the distance. Or we can just click this button here, which it says view entire object. So click on that. And it doesn't look exactly okay. like information. The shape is pointing or it's to the right. We can go object that all will look the flat as it is. Okay, and the rest of it is just based on this downloaded model. Oh. Mm. How do we get this apartment block into Clip Studio Paint? Well, that all has to do with registering it as a material. Now, this little uh, double arrow here, I shut down just so we can get maximum uh, real estate on our desk. Oh, now that, okay, that. this is where this is. And what I've got here... Yeah, I just want to put in some of these. materials folder where you can see that all of your materials right. in Clip Studio Paint are showing up here. What we want to focus on is 3D. Now, if we open that up, we've there got is. a lot of um, our own categories, but you can even add your own. So if I right-click there on 3D and go Create New, I can create a new folder, and I'm going to call this Apartment. Yep, there we go. And now, see, here, I want that to work. Go File, Register as New Material, and you'll automatically see that there's no image. And so, if we do want an image to recognize what this is, let's cancel that for a second. We go back to sketch, we click on where it says no image, and a thumbnail is generated. We go complete, now we've got a thumbnail. We go back to registering new material, now we've got a thumbnail, and we can call this apartment. We okay, this will be useful later, but not where we've got yet. The apartment folder. We can even put in a couple of search tags if we wanted to, let's just say apartment. Right, and then we hit OK. okay. That is now a go to paint, and let's create a new canvas. So I'm just going to make a very si simple one, paint, and let's. Right, I'll that. come back Some to this. Information no imported bit. into Clip Studio. Okay, let me just Google some stuff. Clip Studio model. Starting assets location. I know that my setup right here is very bad at displaying what I'm looking at over here, uh, but suffer. Okay, um, I use downloaded materials, or clipping material, gold materials. I don't want to know how to use downloaded materials. I want to know how to use just the default materials. And this is for in paint. How to make materials. I don't want to make materials though. And this just takes you to the default tutorials page. None of this is useful to me. I just I just need to know how to in how to place models that's it that's the simplest possible thing that's like that normally that's like two clicks how do I do it though it's such a basic thing that no one is gonna like no one's gonna make it video saying how to do that, but I just can't figure it out. Okay, 3D controls number one. Okay, like materials obtain 3D object materials you can use to put the shrimp. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but this is using parts that are already in the 3D model. How do I put... How do I put things in? There's no insert button on this screen. There's no tool that says insert. There's no... Clip, start Clip Studio new. Open sounds right, but I don't know where it, where it is. Reset camera. Vertices, edges, normals, bones, physical objects. This physics stuff. I just want to put this put this man in here somewhere. Just put just put the man in. Just let me let me put put a man put a man there. Just right there. Where do I put this man here? Okay, make this big. Is there anything new here now? that I can see that I couldn't before. No, I can't. Where do I put this man in? Cool, make a bigger grid. Cool. How do I put this man in? Materials. Those are actual materials. I don't... 3D. Can I put in one of the backgrounds? Background. Well, it's, uh, I don't have any of these downloaded. Okay, um. I don't need textures. I just want, I want to put a man here. We're gonna figure this out. Edit? Nope, that's just undo. Let's do his new material. Your entire object bone. There's a bone button there. That's good. Workspace material tool subtool to properties. How to insert? What do we even call it? Is it basics? Where is it? So did my light get darker? Did my face light? Yeah, my face light got darker. Yeah, this thing needs to charge, and I don't have a long enough cord to charge it while it's sitting in the right position. So I'm just going to steadily get... I'll just turn it off and plug it in now. And then it'll... But I'll remember to set that back up. So I'm just going to be dark for a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll put you there. Okay, how to insert, what's, what's the word for it, it's not default, what's that, I guess I'll go with default, default materials, clip studio modeler, that's the video I just watched. I don't want to input. How do you use Clip Studio? That's the same video. What the fuck are you talking uh, How do I add a character to Clip Studio model? File, new, new character. Next, click the body icon of the character config. Fuck it, this is at least something. Click off. Uh, new. Go into character. New character configuration. You can import the FBX parts. I don't know what that means. Can I then. Body? Do that? No. 
Add from material. Oh, this is something, though. This is this is something. Okay. Pose. Okay, so I need need a care. I have the I have this boy. Give me this boy. Where is he? Where is this man? Save location. I actually did download this this random boy to while I was messing around earlier. Body add from material. Mail. Racing. Okay. Student. Okay. Okay, so I need to figure out where this boy is saved. I just clicked it in studio and told it, yeah, get that. Download material. Character. Yes, I saved it, but where are you saved? Men's materials? Open in modeler. Hey, that's a boy. Okay. So then from here. From here I can do some stuff, right? Uh, where this bone setting? Some of them bones. Uh, camera angle. Give me that. Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Bone operations. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Scroll wheel is messing with him a bit. But that's pretty organic movement for the default function. So that's trying to turn the restricted things around that axis. Is there a one-button camera control? Uh, camera settings. Can I set hotkeys? Help, plus point, no, set, where's settings? Where's, where's the settings thing? Um, okay, maybe it's in studio. You can't see what I'm doing in studio, but uh, I'm doing stuff there. Um, settings. Oh, location of materials. Okay, cool. So I can do that if I need to, but this should work fine. I'm actually going to get a couple other things while I'm here. Give me this, this park. Download that setting. Download materials immediately. Yeah, I'm going to grab a couple models right now. I don't need that uh, small object. I'm gonna want a bunch of. Cause anything that can save me some time and having to manually model stuff would be good. I don't even know what motion means, but apparently there's nothing there. But okay. So wait, 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 wait. Take me to favorite. If I no, I can't bring in just the grid up. But if I can, I pose him now. Add from material. And what's the Grid up is the one I want to look at. Grid up. OK. 
Okay. Okay, can I apply pose? Oh, that's so useful. I still want what? Okay, I have to do something to save that pose. Save character pose. Can fuck off. Why? Go here. Supply pose. Save pose. Yeah, okay, now that saves a singular file. Um, how do I lock him into this pose? I would assume it's save character pose, but then if I do that, it undoes that. I want to move the camera around so I can see the pose better. And while I'm in the pose, I can't actually do anything to him. Hmm. Oh, that's the hitboxes. Nice. There's no hitboxes in the feet. That's fine, though. Overload of information. Okay, that's similar to MMD. That one's really bothering me. I know not that one. Uh, what? What? Oh, it was that one. Okay. That one's a little bothersome. That one's fine, though. Okay. There's gotta be a way I can control the camera without having to leave the view mode. View entire object. Okay, okay, default viewing angle. Then there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be. Oh, I can still mess around with it with this menu. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta use this thing in the corner, which means I want that to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so another thing, pose data, I want to add from material, close fingers, then what if I apply that, okay, and that applies only to his left hand, okay, well let me straighten the elbow, Raise the shoulder. Okay, how do I how do I adjust the angle there? There's gotta be a way to twist the elbow, right? Why is the elbow locked and only one axis of rotation? Elbows can kind of, I guess that's mostly forearm, but still. That should be connected to this bone, right? I keep forgetting that scroll wheel does weird stuff. I 
like the fun organic movement. I do like how the skull worked. It's very organic, and I could do some rudimentary animation with just the uh, record what's happening and using the scroll wheel on specific bones. Doing it almost. Uh, stop motion. Um, where is the actual... Control angle. Where was the slide? Hmm. Okay, that would be actually good with the wireframes. But yeah, those wireframes. Hmm, that's okay. Oh, wait, what happened there? Weird. Okay, and I assume that there's an object I can insert that'll change lighting. Change setting. Form setting. Golden setting. Flat setting. Oh, there's two wife and I like that. That line I don't like. That'd be useful in specific situations, but not always. So, again, I ask the question of whatever happened to the translate navigator power? Okay, let's do this. I want to change where my camera is centered. Can I... Can I move the full body somehow? Move parts? That's no good. Put that back in there. So I assume sketch is a top layer for the drawing over it. So where is your center bone? Is that it? Your center bone, if I move, it should move your whole body normally would be something like that, but that's a joint. It makes me think that it's probably somewhere in the hips. But it, I, I think these might all be joints, in which case. Okay. Oh, that's actually very useful. And then that does the knee, and it's automatically restrained from going too far forward. Which is good. And if I want it to go forward, then I do it at that. So that's nice. Ooh, and if you go too far with that, it starts engaging other other directions. This is the yep, twist shoulder that Yeah, this is the actual shoulder blade. So how do I move this man? How do I move this man? How do I move this man? Oh, window, uh, character configuration, bring that back. Okay, so, if I go back... Let's 
pose them to float a little bit. How do I, can I Z down, Z minus? No. How do I, two questions, two questions I got right now. Does this lock you into that pose and then I can go into other things? No. Cool. That just means that I can't delete that one on accident. That's fine. Okay, character information. That's take a thumbnail. I don't need to do that. Um, I'm gonna make this real small. I don't need that. Um. Okay, okay. Anything about move? Okay, the biggest thing is locking them into position. Because if I can, if I can do that, that's like eighty percent of what I need to build a scene. If I can, if I'm. If I absolutely can't figure it out, an event layer will. Ah, parallel a perspective. Okay, cool. I'll keep it on that one. No, here. Um, hum, 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 hum. How do I lock this model into this position so that then I could possibly insert a new model? Actually, let me see what happens if I put another one of him in here. Okay, that opens it as a new thing. So then if I... If I go to texture oh interesting basic uniform plain cloth oh that's neat you can switch without what's out for these lines that's fun that's good no space if I turn that, that off I can Zoom in and change the face. I assume it's going to be ah. There's no face on that face. That makes sense. Cause that was a bunch of what the what the downloadable. Assets were with faces that actually have a face on them. And that makes sense now that I see that the face is not a face. Ah, and I can scale. Okay, interesting. It turned out to default. And orbits in. I can translate, I assume. So if I put that to 11 instead of 0, it offsets it that far. Cool. So then, theoretically, if I go to body, this is the outfit, not the actual body, which is to say that I need to be in pose data, which means I need to be in bone mode. Pose data, grid up no because then the options aren't there okay so I need to be in texture to move things I think let's do 20 degree orientation what does that do to you Okay, that tilts it down 20 degrees, makes sense. Put that back to zero. That's fine and all. How do I pose you and move you? 
How do I post you and move you? That might actually be opening it in. No, I couldn't be opening it in the in the paint. Did I? I mean, let me let me try. Saving this as uh, yes, I put it in that. Save it there, and then if I open Paint, I don't care what's new because I've never used it before. Paint new. I will switch the format so you can see what this is soon. Yeah, I'm gonna... The main thing I want to try and do with this is an animation. So let me OBS. Let me... Uh, da -da 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 -da, Clip Studio. Copy. Paste a duplicate. Tell this one to do clip paint. Okay. Move it down to just above studio. So then I can do that to switch between them. Oh, also, yeah, my face has been a little bit in the way. I'm gonna shrink that down just a little bit. That's fine. I'm also going to unplug and turn my light back on. It's charged enough. There we go. That's better. Um, okay, I think I need a new guide. Bringing up the guides. Let's see what this right, man says next. This? Well, first off, we need to go to something like Turbo Squid. And I found this beautiful here. We will ask so I will just say X for you and then I can zoom in, uh, zoom out, I can right mouse click and I can see that that is all. And under object configuration we've got node, we go add from file and we can navigate to where we downloaded it and there is apartment 4. Okay, okay. And it That's a food that I haven't been eating. To navigate back by pulling back the distance. Or we can just click this button here, which it says view entire object. We click on that, and it does look exactly how we expect. Now, there's a couple of things we can do to change this view. And if we go view settings, mm -hmm, uh, enabled, mm -hmm. we can click on lighting, and that will give us some lighting information. And then drawing effects, we can do things like show outline or just see the wireframe. And then the shader, we can use uh, choose between flat, broad, bong this one here which is tune shading but uh, this one's really really stark you can use one of these shading types and then uh, we can still take a look uh, around this model we see that yeah we've got some faces that uh, are, are clipping but overall that model is you know yep, 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 now under root node we get another folder called root node this one is not editable because this is the parent root, and this will always be called root node. Uh, but the one underneath called root node is basically the building. So we can double click on that. We can call this apartment <laughs> block. Okay. So now that we know everything in this folder is in a hierarchy for this particular object, and you will see that we've got a lot of objects in here and you don't have to tr keep track of them all if you don't want to the beauty of fbx files is that they often come in with all the other uh, models available so you can just select say one part of the model and adjust it so let's center on the object now we've got this apartment block the next one you'll see now that these are no longer grayed out if we click on materials You'll see default materials, and you'll see that there's a lot of materials, and they do come in duplicated. Luckily, Clip Studio Modeler knows that a lot of duplicate materials are going to be created, and so it gives us this handy little merge same materials. If we click on that, now we can see that we've just got four basic materials, one, two, three, and material, that have come into this object. The default layout 
is uh, something that is very useful and that is basically is moves. if there are moving parts to an object you can move them around and save more than one layer then there's the angle so if you want to preview this at different angles you can always add a new angle like this uh, you can just go uh, apply an angle to object uh, and then click on the thumbnail right and then let's say that we turn this angle around like that angle save object angle and apply that and so now these two angles let's say uh, apply yeah. angle to object and then that one apply angle to object we've now set that camera at two different angles for two different previews and the final button is movability and so if you have any bones or moving parts in an object you can move them around uh, you can add a, a new set of See, I don't get this. Why aren't any of these objects in the objects? You can add a lot of them. So let's, for example, say that all these windows were openable. You could go in and add a different movability slider for each of these windows. And when you bring that into Clip Studio Paint, all of those movability sliders will be available as variants and that you can use the interface in Clip Studio Paint to open one or all of the windows in various configurations. Now, how do we get this apartment block into Clip Studio Paint? Well, oh. that all has to do with registering it. I've been doing stuff material. on this one, so I mean. Now, this little uh, double arrow here, I shut down just so we can get maximum uh, real estate on our desktop, but now and I'm going to really And what I've got here is okay. our familiar uh, materials okay. folder, where you can see that all of your materials in Clip Studio Paint is showing up here. What we want to focus on is 3D. Now, if we open that up, we've got a lot of um, our own categories, but you can even add your own. So if I right click there on 3D and go create new, I can create that a worked. new folder and I'm going to call this apartments. Yeah, there we go. And now here, what we do is we just go file, register okay. as new material, and you'll automatically see that there's no image. And so if we do want an image to recognize what this is, let's cancel that for a second. We go back to sketch, we click on where it says no image, and a thumbnail is generated. We go complete, now we've got a thumbnail. We go back to register new material, now we've got a thumbnail and we can call this apartment. We scroll down to 3D to where we've got our apartment folder. We can even put in a couple of search tags if we wanted to. Let's just say apartment, right? And then we hit OK. That is now a 3D object that is saved to our library. So let's now go to paint and let's create a new canvas. So I'm just going to make a very si simple one and let's uh, navigate to our 3D materials apartment and there is our apartment object that we registered. We just drag and drop that uh, and you can already see, well, that was a, the sort of fault angle, <laughs> as it were. Um, and now this apartment is manipulatable inside of Clip Studio Paint. Okay. So I'm... Um, hmm. Going by. Um, I have new grid up. How do I do that again? No, it's under bones. There. Yes, grid up. Then do I file register as new material? Grid with a question mark. Put that in download material. So then if I do that and I go over here to paint, I should set up a thing. And I open no Material 3D. 
download grid. I drag this in here. Is he doing the pose? Is he, does he exist? Put him in. Get rid of the paper. Where, where, what's wrong with you? Oh, visible? No. It's not it. Um. Okay, let me do this as not an animation. Let's just do a simple illustration of this boy. Okay, so then, how much bone control do I have? Also, he is not in the pose. Okay, I still have pretty good bone control. Can I view bones? I like viewing bones. No, I cannot, but I should be able to pose. Go to favorite, grid up. Can I apply grid up to you? Yes. And then I can save this pose as a material. Right? 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 Yes. So then this becomes grid boy. And Location materials 3D. It's download material. Put it, put it there. Okay. Can I have two good boys? Oh, that does just the pose. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I want to translate. Uh, no, that's not translate. How do I move this boy? the environment which I can see that it is. Oh do I just enlarge? Okay. There's a pseudo grid, but no it's it's as modeled in 3D. So if I'm doing some Jojo stuff I do that.
this pushes and pulls and is very useful. Let's lift it. Okay, that turns. turns it. Yep, that does that angle. One, two, three. And then that is free spin. Very useful. Then this is free move. This is zoom, pan, and rotate. That's something I was looking for. If I rotate, then bring this boy closer. And then rotate again. I can get him looking right behind him. Okay. I'm actually gonna end this here because this is almost an hour i might do part two of this might just do it in my free time i think this video is actually fine i don't uh, there's a couple parts where i'm quiet but it's not gonna be worth editing i'm editing out the like couple minutes of bad i am gonna watch through the whole thing before i upload it to make sure that i'm not just misremembering it and it's much worse and needs to be edited uh but I think I'm good for now. Uh, I'm gonna go take a break for a bit. Come back later, see what I remember. It's how I learn things. So I will be back for part two probably. Uh, bye.